Hello, Hans here, Mini Harbor Freight Mini Mill CNC project. Um, today, I'm going to show what I'm doing with the Z-axis column. So, I've taken the original column and put a slot down the middle of it. And I've also punched a hole in the back of it. I'll explain what I'm doing here. But before I do that, let me show you why the Z-axis ball screw and nut. I want to have run inside the column. So this, I made this arm, which you, I made this arm, which you can see in a previous video how I did that. And it's going to attach like so. And then it's going to go inside the column. Now this is the way that your more reputable machining centers do it. I explained that a little bit in the previous videos, but as you can see, this will slide in here and this will travel up and down like that. But it won't move right now because, let me get this close to the camera, inside, inside the casting are some ribs the way it was made Let me adjust the light here see if i can get a better view you can kind of see some of the obstructions in there um so so it, it it's it's going to be a tight fit um but it's going to take a little more work so and that's the goal is to get this get this to go up and down all the way. It's about, I don't know, 10 or 11 inches of travel. So let me show you how I'm going to deburr the inside of this, this piece. Um, I bought this dovetail cutter. This is an import. It, I got it online um, for like $30 or something. And it's, uh, it's got a 16 millimeter shank, and then it's about uh, two inches diameter here. Um, so I can't, <laughs> so I wanna, I wanna run it in here and knock off the corners like that. But as you can see, it won't fit in here. So that's why I put this hole back here. So what I'm going to do is put it through here like this. I pulled it through. And then now I can clamp this up in the collet of my mill, which you see in the background. As you can see, it's hard to tell with the lighting, but I will be able to, I can run this back and forth like that and pulling up high enough, I I should be able to knock off the corners of the casting in there and allow this arm to be able to have ample clearance so there's no rubbing in there. So that's the next step is to get set up in the mill and do that uh, chamfering on the, on the inside corner. That's all for now. Thanks for listening.